Isn't she a beauty? So this is the um, booster plug I've got to fit in. Right, let's see how it goes. Okay, so this is a um, 2020, but I believe from 2016 upwards, um, they're all the same. So you just got to remove the seat first. So once we've taken that seat off, uh, we have to remove this side plate here, I believe. Um, looks like there's a bolt there holding it in. This, these might be just popping in. This is what I can't find any information on. So hopefully we're just going to take this bolt out and this just pops out. And I believe the air box um, and where the sensor plug plugs into the air box is just on the other side of this. So that's what I hope. Okay, so we need an 8mm socket for this. supposed to be able to get access to this uh, through this to come in. so there's just a couple of um, push-ins here and that one bolt so that was easy okay so I thought this might be a bit easier to get to um, I did read on a forum a bloke got access to this um, little plug um, that we have to remove and put this in line that goes into the airbox and um, but yeah it is a little bit tricky it's um it's actually i don't know if you can be able to see this it's going to be a little bit tricky oh, that's it there yeah so just what you see straight through there um that's it so that's probably you know it's about 70 millimeters in there so i'll see if we can grab that out okay so it's a little bit tight getting long nose pliers up through here to grab it to pull it out so I'm going to remove this plate here you need a five millimeter um, allen key I've never had this off before so um, that's a very easy one to get off so just one bolt in the middle there and it sort of pops in two places okay so what you have to do is um, I just got some long nose pliers and you just got enough room to get in there right so that's in that way um, so you just got to get your long nose pliers onto this um, this little piece here you squeeze that in once you, once you can get your pliers on each side of that, squeeze that top in, then it just comes straight out very easily. Right, so now we just have to fit this other thing in line now. So we'll just remove those cable ties carefully. We've got a male and a female here. Right, so that just clicked in there perfectly. So basically this end now has to go into the plug on the air box. The top there, it goes up the top. So at least we can grab it back a bit to get it started. Just get um, these just in behind it and push it in until we hear a click. That's it. Okay. So at the moment um, we have disconnected it, plugged it in line. So this is the um, the temperature sensor. So we just need to feed that up through the bike and cable tie it somewhere up in the front there. It's in clean cool air okay so we need to find a place to run this I'm um, with the tank off everything's a lot easier to do but this saves a lot of time fitting it in 
So I've just found that if we pull the module all the way out and up and just lift up this um, set of cables in here, it will just slide in on top of this bar here, the frame here. It will just slide in there. You just got to tease that up a bit. Yeah, so while I'm here working at night, look at this view I have. That's good. So you won't be able to see it because it's a bit too dark in there, but just up in here, there's a bracket in here with um, two holes in it. So I'm just going to feed this probe uh, carefully through one of those holes and that'll get me out to a small frame just inside here that the um, fairings all attached to because it's in good clean air down there. I'll get my torch. So there's a frame down in there. Um, I'm just going to attach it to that frame and that's in pretty cool open air there and it's not going to move with the steering at all. Okay. Um, you're going to need a decent sized uh, cable tie for this first bit because you need to be able to get that up and get it all started and it's pretty hard to get to from underneath. So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. I'll just grab this torch. Um, but basically, um, I'll just get that to focus. Um, so you can see the white cable tie there. Um, and that's the sensor to the right, just running alongside that bit of frame. Hopefully that's going to be a good position. Can't really see anything else there that's sort of um, in a fixed position. Um, yeah, so hopefully it's not going to sort of vibrate. So I'll just make sure the cable ties um, are just snug and it can't move. Um, there should, shouldn't get too much wind disturbance in there. So I'll just tidy up um, those leads coming back to the um, booster plug now. Okay, sorry folks. Um, I just got called away last night, so I'm just going to finish um, cable tying this off tonight. There's a big um, wire loom up the top here that runs along the top of this frame. So I'm just going to get a, a, a black cable tie, just feeding around this little group of wires off the, um, off the plug here. And then I'm going to go up, try to get over the top of this loom and get that back around. That's going to be a little bit tricky. Okay, because it's um, we've left the um, the tank on, um, we're actually it's a little bit tricky getting a cable tie around the um, wires off the booster plug and up around this loom up the top here. Could take some time. So what I'm going to do is I've got a you could use a bit of string or whatever. So I've got a um, a piece of soft wire here with plastic coating on it, so it's not going to scratch or damage anything. So I'm just going to feed that over the top and um, poke it through and then I'm going to twist the end of this cable tie onto it and pull the cable tie through. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I can just see the wire there. I'm just going to try to grab it with the cable, with these um, long nose pliers. Pull it through. Hopefully, yes. Right, so now we'll take that off. Okay, so that's number one. Just get the little side cutters on that. Anyway, righto, I think one's going to be enough because we've got the wire um, coming out of the air box just through here. Um, that sort of can't come out, it's sort of held with this cable tie. Um, what we're going to do now is um, put the covers back on. Okay, so to put this on, there's a little piece on the bottom here. That's got to go down into there. So it took me a while to figure that out. 
So that's got to go down into there. And then there's another one that pops in there. And that should just go straight in with a 5mm Allen key. That is just popped in. I don't know. Get a little bit more tension, not too much. Um, so that pops in there. It's going to go in here. I think it just um, goes up underneath the edge of the fuel tank, that thing. That's um, so it can't come out. It just goes up underneath the lip of the fuel tank. And that one pops in there. And that's Velcro. And that one's popped in. Now we can tighten that up. Too tight because I think that's it's all plastic, so just need to put the seat back on. Clean off. 